Shadow Rider, just the horse itself with playing more of a support role with Citrus Berry and will o -Vis, Shadow Ball, Snarl, and Tots. This is a really interesting team here. Really interesting, because if it does get some of these final hits with that Grimnay, it can really spiral out of control. It can really get very, very strong, get some heavy hits in there. But if it's not getting activated, it's not getting those hits, it doesn't have to be that main carry. It can still do some decent stuff here. It can do the Snarl or the Special Defense. Or special attack and it can get the taunt as well. will o -Wisp just shutting down those attackers even more. Yeah, so Maraida and Whimsicott taking the lead here versus for Rigorap and Coridon. Again, we're looking at two different Sun Cores here, where we're looking at Sun Core versus more of an actual Electric Terrain Core with Iron Valiant and that Stellar Draw or that Quark Drive. Is they have the Rila Boom to cleanse that uh, Electric Terrain, but there's no thing, nothing to clear that Sun away. No, there's really not. And this is the first battle we are seeing actually without uh, Ice Rider Calyrex here. So this is a battle to see who takes, I guess, second place for today. So we'll see what happens. Crydon and Maridon both pretty used. Did not make our usage stats, but I think they're on both a few teams each. So we'll see what happens, what moves you make here. And this is make it or break it for both the players. So we're going to see some absolutely desperate plays come out here. Push to limits. They're going to break their limits here. As they switch in the real boom, put out some fake out pressure, clear out that electric terrain, and stop the threat of that Maradon. But I don't know if you notice, guys, there's no terrestrialization on the Maradon. They're not going for the sweep right away. Oh, wait, oh, yes, they are. The, the, the swap comes out first. My bad. Yeah, swap comes out first. And there's the Terra into the electric Maradon. Again, this is a Maradon we are seeing actually without a choice item, so it is free to choose whatever moves they would like. And actually going with Dragon Pulse, which is which is interesting. You don't normally see Whimsicott oh. going with Protect turn one. This is a discharge for sure if Whimsicott's protecting. Oh no, Volt Switch! Keep things very dynamic here. It's Volt going Switch on the into the Frigorath, getting it down to about half HP. Hey, without that electric draining, cannot ensure the one hit knockout there. <laughs> Now, what do you swap into, though? We don't know what Archdeep has in his back pocket. I don't know what's going to be. There could be the Spectriar, but what do you switch into against this matchup? Because Spectriar could be doing too much. It's going to be the Lander shutting down that attack on the Reelaboom. Now, both of them have the... Oh, the Trick Room gets set up. Interesting, interesting. It's interesting to go for Trick Room here. I think, but I think a lot of... Uh, Braden's Pokemon here are actually a lot slower than the Maridon, for example. I think Coridon is a bit slower, even though they're pretty equal. So, that's an interesting play, though, to run Trick Room without a Trick Room Sweeper. Yeah, it's a very interesting play, indeed. And now, it looks like the battle is going to commence here. Helping Hand on this Arela Boom. I think we're seeing a Helping Hand Grassy Glide, is my guess, or a Helping Hand Wood Hammer. There's the Wood Hammer. Should be a no. no it's not Landers a knockout. Lives. Very close though. U turn. There's U the turn. The ton of damage to Rillaboom, and we're probably going to see Maradon take back the field here. Definitely, you want to get that terrain back out. It's going to force a switch on the Rillaboom because even if it's low, you want to have that in the back pocket because you don't want that Terra Electric uh, <laughs> monster to be on the field to w set up. Yeah, what's important to know here is this Real Boom actually is not running U-Turn. This Real Boom is instead running high horsepower, so that puts a lot of pressure on Maridon. We are seeing the Iron Valiant take the stage here. Does not have Quark Drive enabled yet. There's the Moon Blast. Frigraph taking a little bit of chip damage, forcing it into its Citrus Berry. What's really interesting is to see Citrus Berry be run on these different Pokemon. We have with Ice Rider and Shadow Rider both running around activating that unnerve that's gonna that's actually gonna make berries kind of useless so i'm shocked we are still seeing berries exactly but brayden is gonna be operating very comfortably inside of this trick room as archdeep's team is just so fast this iron valiant has so much speed here it's gonna be outspeeding everything on the board but of course in trick room that's not exactly what you want yeah landers comes back out sets up that intimidate there's the hyper voice wow landers lives gonna die no, Iron Valiant takes the wood hammer, and Iron Valiant goes down. Even at minus two, it's a knockout. Yeah, I am shocked. Iron Valiant, not the most defensive Pokemon, but I'm shocked that was enough to kill. Iron Valiant never really got that Quark Drive enabled, so it couldn't really boost any of its stats. Really got a chance there. Didn't even get the move because of the Trick Room. Maridon takes back the field here. I don't know how many turns of Trick Room we have left, but really that Rillaboom is probably not going to do a ton of damage at minus two. At the switch, exactly. cried on. No, we are switching back to Chien Pao. 
and the Hyper Voice. Probably going to finish off Landris unless it can protect. I do not know if it has. It does not. Landris is going to take this attack to the face. The champ out being committed now. The defenses are even lower here. Let's see. Landris getting swapped out, though, at the last second. They want to keep it for one last intimidate. Sorry, with the Wimscott instead. Going to keep him up. Probably can take this hit. Hyper Voice, Hyper Voice really not doing a ton of damage. There's the Dragon Pulse actually into the Chien Pao. Chien Pao hangs on because of it. Sash. Yeah, it's still hanging on there. Doing a really good job at keeping things nice and competitive. But honestly, I don't, I have no idea how this next one's gonna shake up. This Chien Pao could, if it's slower, take out this Maradon potentially. But if the Maradon can somehow get a move in here, it's gonna yeah. be absolutely lethal. Speed is going to be a big factor here. If Qian Pao is the fastest, it does not want to be in Trick Room. Helping hand to the to the Qian Pao. Really committing to Qian Pao. Qian Pao got Sucker Punch. Does not knock out Right on right on lives. There's the Moon Blast. Goodbye, Qian Pao. Man, I maybe would have even liked to see an Ice Spinner there because you could at least clear the drain. But I guess maybe if Trick Room's not up here, the speed differential is just too much. There's Dragon Balls for Rigorath lives on 16. Sunlight goes down. Oh, there Twisted it is. Dimensions go down. Rillaboom would take back the field. Oh, it was going to go last. Yeah, Sucker Punch was the right play there. Yeah, I think Sucker Punch was the correct move here. Yeah, Grassy Surge is out, unleashed, and on the prowl. No more electric terrain here for anybody. Now, Grassy Glide probably going to finish off Maridon unless it switches and sacrifices something else. But I don't know what you do to block this. Grassy Glide coming in. Yeah, Brandon though, looking so good. He still has like a full health Karada on his back pocket if he needs it. Yeah, he's in a really good position here. Here's the Grassy Glide. Say goodbye, Maridon. Maridon falls. Now you only have one more Pokemon remaining aside from this Wimscott. It's going to be that Landorus Theory. And sure, you're going to get the attack minus on that Karadon next turn. But is that enough to ensure your victory? Yeah, we'll have to see here. It's a really close battle. Hyper Voice doesn't take out Whimsicott. Whimsicott healing back a little bit of health thanks to that grassy terrain there. Here comes Coridon. It is Coridon versus who has left. I think it's just a very weak Land OT. There's the Coridon setting up the sun once again. Gonna even enhance those fire moves on its roster if it needs it, but you know it's just we go for these collision courses. Oh, this is a clear amulet Coridon. These are some very different teams. I was not expecting Clear Amulet Coridon. I think it will live whatever comes out. We'll have to see what happens. Terra still not being used by Brayden. Brayden not really needing to use Terra. There's the Tailwind. Yeah, really just powering up Landorus to try and finish something off. There's the Rock Slide. Takes the Free Graph goes down. Doesn't do anything to Coridon. I think he was not. predicting that Coridon would Terra fire there. It did not. Oh, it's oh, glitched! It glitched! You buy yourself a little bit more time left on the field. The grass terrain going to heal you up just that much more. And now time is ticking. You have one more rock slide in here. If you can keep procking the flinch, you might be able to squeak out a win. He has to make the read here. He's going to collision course into the Landorus and Terra. It's a risky Terra for not enhancing your, your move as well. Yeah, it is a very risky Terra here. Nice weak. If he goes slide. for Rock Slide again. I mean, you have to Terra here. You have to remove that Moon Blast threat. He got hit by Moon Blast. That'd be four times super effective and that'd do a ton of damage. There's the Moon Blast. Yep. Not doing a ton. Thanks to that Terra. There's oh, the Stopping Tantrum. Wow! Yeah, 20 HP! Collision course is set. And there it goes. But with the Tailwind. The Tailwind will probably win out the game for Archdeep. Well, here's the question. You still have grassy terrain up. You can protect for one turn, heal up a little bit. And Good enough to live the moon blast. You got two turns. You got to 40 HP. He is going to protect. Yeah, let's see it. This is absolutely intense. Especially Terra Fire. This is going to be a, fl a Flare Blitz for sure heading this way. A one shot KO guaranteed on this Wimscott has to try and take it down before it gets taken down itself. Go yeah, for the protect. Actually not having Focus Sash. There's the Moonblast into the Protect. 
Wimps Cloud is actually running the Electric Seed, which I don't think ever activated. These are some very interesting sets by Archdeep, something we haven't seen, but making this battle extremely fun to watch. Exactly. Does he go for the double protect? No, he's going to go for the Flare Blitz. He's confident he can live a Moon Blast, but if a crit comes through, I think that might spell yeah. the end. Oh, Wimps protect! Why is Wimps a cop protect? because it has, it's regenerating even more health, but yeah, it doesn't need to tank a hit, is the thing. No, it needs to be dishing out the damage, Before I'm shocked. Before this Tailwind. It's wasting Tailwind, wasting Grassy Train, letting Rhydon get back up to 50 HP. I think Rhydon- Oh! Rhydon. Yeah, yeah, I think Rhydon, Rhydon is out of kill range here. Yeah, that was a bit of a, too patient of a play on the side of our steep. Yeah, I think Flare Blitz definitely gets the knockout. Don't have Focus Sash, you don't have anything. Whimscott using Protect again, I'm not sure for what. Trying and there's to the Flare Blitz. Trying to the of Flare Blitz, perhaps, but no, I think he has enough for days, and that's gonna be it. Wow, Brayden coming back from the brink. It looked very bleak for both players, but Brayden held strong and took this one by storm. Yeah, what a comeback there. We'll have to see what Archdeep can do to get himself in the right position. The issue is he didn't get electric train. His whole team is based around getting electric train set up and abusing it. Never got electric train set up in time, so I'll have to see what he can do to change change that going forward. Well, he did get it set up, but the Reelaboom is just so strong and he didn't have anything to decisively shut down that Reelaboom. He doesn't have a fire type, doesn't have an ice type, doesn't have even a bug type to decisively take that Reelaboom down. Yeah, well, really have to see what changes they can make as we go into the second battle here, and if we can get this extended to it, our third best of three of the day. That'd our be... fourth best of three of the day. Yeah. A lot of best of threes say it's been a good day for some battles. It's been an amazing day for battles so far, and now I don't, yeah, I think it might go that far, but I think it's just tough with the Maridon, right? You can't rely on it using that electric terrain it's just too easy to cleanse with just a single Rillaboom swap and especially with this team in particular Rillaboom isn't even as bad as it could be it's rocking the well the high horsepower is pretty bad yeah but the high horsepower is actually a great counter to Maraid on here I was gonna say it could pick up a U-turn in one of those slots if it didn't want Grassy Glider U-turn it could pick up U-turn in one of those slots and then it's even more mobile and even more annoying to get rid of that grassy terrain yeah, I think I think it's interesting to not have U-turn, but I think you never want to drop Grassy no. Glide. It's so offensive and so powerful. But that's the question. Do you run Stomping Tantrum or do you drop U-turn? That's the question that these players have been dealing with for most of the week. Rillaboom is sort of a niche pick this week. Actually, no, Rillaboom has been a great pick this week. Rillaboom today actually seeing the most play it's seen all week. We are seeing Rillaboom on almost 30% of teams. So people are really starting to lean towards Rillaboom to counter Maridon. Yeah, after it wins twice, you need to go for those counters. You need to go for those outs. And Rillaboom is the best terrain setter, right? Indeed, he just doesn't have that offensive power to shut down the Maridon. Meanwhile, you have the high horsepower on the side of uh, Rillaboom. So it's an absolutely amazing pick. Spectre now being unleashed. This is an interesting pick that I'm excited we get to see. Yeah, Spectre is a really interesting Pokemon. I think this is the first time maybe we've seen Spectriar all weekend. Don't see Spectriar very commonly. You really see it mainly in that Shadow Horse form, but it's decided it's going to be just the Spectriar today. Yeah, that's a fun way to skirt around that restriction. It's not restricted. It's down to roam free as a wild stallion here in this battle. Let's see how this one goes, though. It has a lot of interesting moves at its disposal. It does not have some of the more powerful moves though that the Cal Calyrex has. Yeah, and I think a lot of our players, I'm looking at some use stats here, a lot of our players have actually teched against Maridon teams. We are seeing a rise in Rillabooms, a, uh, a massive decrease in the existence of Pelipers, and the massive decrease in, the in, in Urshifu Rapid Strike. So a lot of players are starting to tech against Maridon. Here comes the collision course into the Maridon. How much does it do? Wow. Almost picks up the knockout, wow. Almost gets it, but not quite the Willow F being committed to the Rillaboom. Interesting. That seems to be the one that's bothering them a little bit more. You don't want to have that high horsepower threatening him right on. Yeah, I think it's a safer play because if they Terra on the... I think they were looking actually for the Terra probably on the Maridon and didn't want to hit the Terra and hit the Willow Wisp and do nothing. So they targeted the... Karai, or they targeted the Rillaboom there with the Willow Wisp instead of it being negated by the burn, by the fire typing. Exactly. Great play. 
are seeing the Chien Pao be swapped in here. Grassy Glide looking to take out this Maridon. Yeah, it's interesting to always... I wonder if we'll see the Dragon Pulse from Maridon or if we'll stick with Electro Drift. That's the benefit of it being in the Cover Cloak, actually, is it has the mobility to switch around. Yeah, it has so that ruined. ability. Maridon leaving the field as well. How comes Lando T? Lander is now on the loose attack, falling on both sides. Grassy Glide, what a through. good read. Doesn't do much. And the will o -Wisp actually into the Chien Pao as well. Everything is getting burned. You get a burn. You get a burn. <laughs> you get a burn. Everything's getting burned. Now we're seeing the value of the Spectre by quite a lot. It's kind of being ignored by, uh, by Brayden now. Nothing has come out to quite, kind of squash it in its place. I guess it's going to be the Sucker Punch on this uh, Chen Pao, but as long as he doesn't use an attacking move when his Chen Pao's out, he's not going to be taken down. Yeah, actually going for the going for the Ice Spinner here. going to do a lot of damage to Landris. We'll have to see if Landris stays in or if he decides he's going to book it again. But really, at a burn and minus one attack, I don't think that's enough to kill Landris. I uh, got a factor in Sword of Ruin, though. Those things, that things always spices things up, so it's a possibility. Here's the Terra. Here's the Terra. Let's see it. On to On the Landorus. Landorus. We're going to a Terra flying Landorus. Oh. So it'll still be weak to Ice Spinner, but it will just be regular effective, or just be super effective instead of quad super effective. Yeah. There's the Ice Spinner. It should potentially Ooh, it lives Still it. does a lot. Still does over a quarter. Grassy Terrain disappears, so Grassy Glide no longer effective. Here's the Shadow Ball. It is, yeah, no Sucker Punch, it's clear. Doesn't not do very effective, much. not a ton of damage, oh. but it lowers the special defense. That's big. Future turn takes out Chien Pao. Beautiful play by our Schneeb here. Yeah, really great play. And using that Flying Terror actually defensively there to resist the, the quad super effective Ice Spinner and just make it super effective. Super effective. And now, Maradon, gonna cleanse that grassy terrain and set up the electric terrain. Yeah, you're getting in a board state here where electric, where you can't remove terrains. Here's the wood hammer. Spectre wow. eats it up. Yeah, he's ready for it, and that burn is doing so much work here against all these physical attackers. Yeah. We actually see Ogre Pond as the fourth Pokemon for. Braden here. Crydon will take the stage one more time. Let's see it. There he is. One more time. Using that so the question balls. is, do you Terra here or do you want to save your Terra for that Ogre Pond in the back? Exactly. Do you want to try and save the attack? Because Terra, Ogre Pond, and Sun might as well be another restricted legendary at this point. Yeah, a very strong Pokemon. Brydon's actually going to switch out here and try to save that electric terrain. In comes Whimsicott one more time. Whimsicott filling out his team. Getting that electric seed so it will gain a defense boost. Yeah, we're going to be drawn back out. There goes Ogre Pawn to the field. This is looking to be very, very interesting. As Moldbreaker goes to protect on the Coridon. Let's see what flink comes its way. Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball. It's blocked. Beautiful play. Yeah, so really, the issue is here is that if they, they are going to tear fire, really shut down that Moonblast and make Whimsicott really just ineffective for the rest of this battle. They're really thinking about it. Here's the Terra Fire Flare Blitz into the Spectriair. And Ivy Cudgel into the Whimsicott is. I would almost assure enough to knock out Whimsicott. It does have a Focus Sash, though, so unless it's at... If it's not at full HP... No, Whimsicott does not have Focus Sash. Oh, you're right, Whimsicott it's right the Electric seed. seed. It does have the Defense Boost, though. I'm just not sure if that is enough. Whimsicott is not known to be the most oh, offensive Pokemon. Oh, they intimidate, though. That could be something that saves it. It might be relying on the Ivy Cudgel crit. That is true. Ivy Cudgel does have a heightened crit chance, so it is possible to crit. There's the Terra Fire on the Moridon, removing its Dragon Weakness, removing its Fairy Weakness. Tailwind goes up. Let's see, Tailwind goes up. There's Flare the Flare Blitz. Does Flare Blitz kill? 
It does. Landorus goes down. Beautiful flare blitz there in the sun. It does so much damage. And now, losing that ground coverage, it's going to be falling to anything that's not that falling those fire attacks. Now, Ivy Kudrow comes through. Not a crit, but still crit. doing so much damage. Yeah, Sunlight actually goes down here. So I wonder if Maridon will stay in or will it switch out to reset up Sun? That is the question I'm not positive about. Here comes Maridon. Electric Train will stay up. Exactly it is, is. going to switch out to the Rillaboom. It wants Sun back in its position. Yeah, it wants it back badly here. Ivy Kudrow still threatening quite a bit. You could even focus in on this Maradon, try and take out the big main DPS here. Now this Karadon has a choice to make. It has no spread moves, unlike the Maradon, so it has to pick a single target here. Yeah, I think what Brain is predicting here is we are going to see the Maradon Terra, so we will lose that Dragon Typing and be wide open it to can't. an Ivy Cudgel. Cannot Terra. Oh, it can't Terra? No, oh, because right. we Terra saw the flying. flying, yeah. Right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So they're covering the electric terrain so it doesn't get a single boost at all. And now they're looking to close things out right here. Real boom out here. Take Fake tears. Fake tears gonna go over to Ogre Bond. Lowers the special defense, which is really interesting. Not doing a lot with that bolt switch. It does have the switch out as the horse is still alive. Yep, Spectre are gonna do some work here. It needs to land some of these support moves. Ivy, Ivy Cudgel. Hit. It does not knock out. Spectre Air lives. And it has Eats a berry. It's berry. It's lunchtime. Lunching and munching. It takes down the Citra Berry and the Grass Drain. The Spectre are pretty much reversed the entire hit right there. Yeah, honestly, with all that healing. Rillaboom being chipped away by this burn. Sure, it may not seem like a lot now, but every amount of damage matters here with how close this game is looking to be. Yeah, only a few possible options available to him. Yep, his options are narrowing. It's coming to a point here. This Wimscott really not getting a lot of value here. Sure, you got the special defense drop, but other than that, it's not enhancing your team too much. Crydon returns to the field. Sunlight goes back up. Fake tears one more time, really trying to lower the special defense, but it's got the clear amulet. Shadow Ball goes in. It's Ogre Pond. Wow, Ogre that's Pond a lives. lot of damage. So, Ivy Casual should take out the Wimscott. Now it is down to the last two on Archdeep's side. And I believe the Rillaboom is still up, so this Electric Durin could get cleansed by Brayden. Yeah, Rillaboom is still up, still alive. It'll be an intense final battle here. There Again, is. both these players, I believe, are 2-2, two and two, so the winner of this will have a chance to make it into Top Gun. Loser is eliminated. Exactly, there's a lot on the line here. Everyone going for those coveted points. And now, this Ogre Pond is gonna use a follow me, open up this Karidon for one single strong strike. Let's see how this goes. Shadow there's ball. the Shadow Ball into the Ogre Pond. And moving first is a bad move for Ogre Pond. It wanted to tank the hit from Maridon, because that's gonna be the stronger hit. Yeah, Maridon's gonna do a lot more damage here. Oh! There's the Grim Day, so special attack buff. Dragon Pulse from Maridon. Cryo oh, lives on four. four! Collision course is now set. Will this be able to take out the Maridon? It Maridon is! goes down. And now it's down to Landorus and Spectre with a special attack boost, though. No, this I think Landorus is out. Oh, you might be correct. I think it's just Spectre left. I think you are correct there, Eric. So it is a, a burned Rillaboom versus a Spectre Air. As Spectre Air is faster than Crydon. Crydon could protect here, maybe stall out a turn. It's just going to full send. Does not have it, that spread move, does not have that astral glide, or the astral, <laughs> that astral move there. So now. There's the Flare Blitz. Crydon is first. faster. This should spell the end right here, and it, and is. it is. And wow, congrats to Brayden Rubitel for winning out the set. And Arshdeep, thank you for bringing such an interesting team to the table. Yeah, so Brayden will move to three and two. He'll have a chance to make top cut. 
depending on his opponent's win rate, so we will have to see what happens. I am not sure. But whatever happens, it will be an exciting finals. I'm sure there will be quite a few ice horses running around. We may see Corrado now in the top, make it to top eight. It will be an interesting match. Yeah, it definitely will be. And now both players having just a great set. Going to move on handshakes all around. That's what it's all about. And congrats to Brayden for winning the set. Yeah. This is that ends our final Swiss rounds, actually, exactly. for the weekend. We yeah. have had 20, 19 rounds of Swiss this whole weekend. It has been <laughs> intense battles the whole time. Folks, Pokemon events will continue here at St. Clair for the for the future, so be sure to keep an eye on social media for the announcement of the next event. Exactly, and wow, what an amazing Swiss rounds it has been. We've seen so much variety in teams, so many good players here and there and everywhere, but overall, we can tell that we're now we're getting down to the best of the best. All the experience of all four days have has led up to this. This is the moment where we're seeing the most refined Pokemon we've seen in a long while. Everyone going for those long coveted championship points. Everyone wants to go to the Worlds and we will see who may be getting those points after a quick break. So join us very soon for the Top Cut.